Alright guys, welcome back to some more Dundo commentary. So we have Slate today. Yeah, what's up guys? So Shadal's deck number three, right? Didn't Shadal's fall down with deck number three? Um, not in the eyes of Marcelo Baviri. Mm. <laughs> what does he say? You know that? who that is? <laughs> he won, um, he won, oh, what, he won some YCS, I forget which one, Madrid maybe? I don't remember. But and, um, What did he say? He he thinks Shadals are the are the best deck. He plays Shadals. He won his YCS with Shadals, and in the YCS Milan stream uh, on Twitch, they uh, interviewed him because he just won a YCS, and he was talking about how he convinced his teammates. He said he has a team of ten people, and uh, in, going into the event that he won, two of them were playing Shadals and eight of them were playing Burning Abyss, but now it's five and five. <laughs> mm. So, I mean, I mean, what did what did Patrick say? Oh, Shadal mirror match. Okay. <laughs> I guess so you don't take any battle damage? Huh, I don't know. You know, Patrick, you know. I, I say Burning Abyss is number one. Maybe it's just Me too, my, but, yeah. but um, I, I don't think Shadows... I, I go as far as to say I don't think Shadows are good anymore, but um, I think Burning Abyss is the best one. Yeah. I feel like if they brought down Burning Abyss and maybe kept Shadows at their same strength, they might be able to do something. No, it is Burning Abyss. With Dragon. Wait. Is this a Shadol Burning Abyss deck, or do you just run in Dragon just to run Dragon? They, they used to just run Dragon. They used to just run Dragon and Foolish as that extra MST, but I haven't seen it in forever. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, wait. What'd you say, what were you saying before he revealed a Burning Abyss monster? You were uh, saying something about... I said maybe if you, like, hit Burning Abyss decently oh. and leave Shadol's where they're at, they might boost up, but... With, with triple Super Poly? Of course, yeah. Super Poly's amazing. <laughs> By, oh by the way, by the way, I've, I've been seeing uh, a lot of people if, talk if, about yeah, if, if they did boost up Super Poly back up to three, then definitely, because you can then Super Poly... Well, yeah, 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 just take, because of Super and, Poly. Yeah, should also, Super yeah. Poly and take their monster before they can uh, fire like you, and you would have nothing on the field. That's why, you know, uh, Regeki's been going back up in popularity. So you can mm -hmm. Regeki before you commit to anything so they don't fire like your ass. Yeah. I mean, my unlucky ass, I got fired like three turns in a row with my evil swarms, and I, of course, never got any infestation pandemic, so. <laughs> did you run three? I, I remember I watched yeah, your deck I profile, and I, I ran, I did a really big comment on it, because, you know, me and you kind of, we talked about that deck a lot, you know, we did some theory owing, remember? Yeah. Like I said, I, yeah. it wasn't the deck, it was just me. I, I'm just super unlucky. I'm like done with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. I have a I have an Evil Swarm core. I've always wanted to play the deck at like a you know at least locals, but I can't afford vanities. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> oh, I sold my vanities. Uh, what do you think about Astro Pack? I don't. Uh, pretty much, you're making Konami making money. No surprise. I mean, I, I I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people are saying. Honestly, it's not bad. Like I, I saw it. I'm just like, okay, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. A couple of Alvarados in there with the rewording and stuff. Some well, actually, um, I did this morning. Uh, I did a little analysis, and every card except for um, Big Eye, the monsters that are coming and in the monsters that are coming from the OCG got at least a small errata. So even Tour Guide got its text changed a little bit. What what they change about Tour Guide? Just the just here. I'll, I can I'll, I'll show. I'll tell you. It's just the um the wording of how they say that it can't be used as synchro material. Um, tour guide errata. It's already on Wikia. That's how I know. Um, okay. So before the end of the card text used to say. Um, you can spell summon one level three fiend time monster from your deck. Period. Its effects are negated and it cannot be used as synchro material monster. Now it says. You can special summon one level three fiend time monster from your hand or deck, comma, but its effects are negated. Also, it can't be used as a single material. So it's it, it's it's nothing, but I mean it's it's just a, a small re rewording. Everything except for Big Eye and the three normal monsters and the Manning Black Shark got changed because of course they didn't exist in the TCG yet. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I take that back. One of the normal monsters was already printed here, but not but not the other two. You know, it's like tour guide reprint, sure. Some of the arts reprints, oh shock, you know. Like, all right, I'll say this extra pack. Um, well, a lot of people don't like it. Um, I think it's okay. The reason Infernity Break got changed is because, like, it got reprinted because it needed to get changed. Its its text was so old. Its old text was it was extremely outdated. It, like, it, it started with the word activate. It said activate if you control no cards in your hand. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> or if you have no cards in your hand. I don't know. It's just, oh, I haven't seen damn. a card that's activate. 
forever. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was good bounce the window. <laughs> that was a good play. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, me either. I guess he's running multiple shit all drive. Maybe this is a shit all burning at this deck. I don't know. Wow. That watch is chat, though. <laughs> what are these guys' ratings? Oh, I didn't even state the ratings. I'm so bad. Oh, damn. That number <laughs> generator, though. No. That number <laughs> generator, though. No. Oh man, we were just oh, talking man. about that card. I think that. Oh my god, that's. Oh my god. All right. Uh, we have. I know I didn't announce anyone or anything. A Ragro, a Ragro with twelve fifty three and Darzino with ten seventy seven. Wow. Darzino, yeah, that's what I'd say. Darzino. Shit. Okay, so I was kind of. I mentioned this for a second, and then we we were we uh got off track but um you're talking about super poly a lot of people are saying that like stratos is more likely to come off than ever now that super poly is at one and of course the structure deck i i'm gonna put stratos on my list on my prediction if i ever make it i'm gonna put stratos on it i think he's gonna come back to one i think it's time i, did. I think it's time yeah i know i think why it's would time. you summon that one <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like no do not summon that burning abyss Oh, he summoned from the wrong place. Oh, okay. I don't know what just happened. Whatever. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Oh, so he's still summoning that burning abyss. No! <laughs> you should summon a different burning abyss. That way... Does he, ha it can does he have a graph? Does he have a graph in his graveyard? Does he? I can't see the graveyard. I wish he... Well, yeah, exactly. So he probably doesn't have a graph in his graveyard. And Seer can't summon itself. So. That's true. Man, this sucks. I have to say... He could summon Graph, then Graph could have a Scarlet, then he could have Normal Summon, and then exceed into something, into a Dante next turn. Like, the window is locking guess... your ass down. Like, shit. Who's the fact? Just. Oh, Scar, oh. he forgot to. Oh, okay. whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <Let's see if laughs> <say>. Wait, wait. <laughs> Misclick, sure. Sure. <laughs> like I said, you're still in deep shit, man. Like, the window is locking your ass. Why would he search Cowcat? Oh, he probably has a uh, trap. He probably has a channel. Oh, okay. What does that do? Negate effects? What? Cowcat? No. Yeah. He bounces a set spell trap. Alright, I don't know. Yeah, any a lich. Of this. A lich. Uh, uh, so, Cowcat is the 2 of. A lich is the 1 of. In Hoven's deck. That's only on the match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cowcab at, I think it's Cowcat at 2 and a lich at 1. Yeah, I remember because the lich they're talking about, it's, it's not a good card, but it's an extra special summon from the hand, and also it's a one of the Kindergate Winda. So that's, that's why they play the one, a lich. Yeah, that yeah, that gets destroyed because he's got a set monster. It includes set monsters too? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Set monsters are unknowns, so. Wow. Wow, that is... That, is that actually came up in my regional, um... Which, you know, I've only ever been to one regional, but <laughs> I played one Burning Abyss player and he 2 owed me, but he, this ruling came up and I had to correct him because he didn't destroy his monster when he had a set monster. But yeah, it gets destroyed. It gets destroyed. I'm positive. Okay. Interesting. I never knew that about Burning Abyss. <clears throat> and, and he scoops. Yep. You know, it never occurred for me on Daily Duels, so. Because I generally don't set monsters. <laughs> <laughs> God, the struggle for this guy is that was real. Oh, yeah, I was all yeah, I know about, we were all talking about how Burning Abyss is the stronger deck over Shadal, and then he just beats him. It, it, it was the first, it was the first turn window. That's what was. Well, I feel like I feel like Darzino isn't. I know this is high rated people, but I feel like Darzino is not very good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not good with Burning. I'm bad too. <laughs> man, burning Abyss carrying. But me. I mean, if he's playing it, he should know what he's doing. I have a question about Burning Abyss. Whatever, whatever happened to Wink of Magic Astral Force? Um, well, uh, it's sometimes played as a one of, but Jeff Jones made a build that didn't run it at all, so people stopped playing it after that. Oh, okay. That's the I, first I mean, time that I've seen somebody not you know, play it. I thought it. ranking up in the Pleiades was like one of the scariest things in Burning Mist. And you get the whatever the Dante's effects and whatever monsters were equipped to the Dante were attached to the well, Dante. Well, it's too? it's less centric around it's it's more centric around uh, abusing Fire Lake. But what if you don't so, get Fire Lake, you know? 
Yeah, what do you mean putting, if you don't get fire? I, whoa, whoa, what do you mean if you don't get fire lake? Dante can recycle it and mill it to the graveyard in order for it to be recycled. I mean, it, there's, of it's course, easy to what get I'm fire. I'm saying, what if you don't it's open up? It's a three up of. It? I run three, and I didn't open up with it on daily duels all the time. All right. I That's know. what I'm saying. Like I said, what if you don't get the fire lake? I mean, eventually you'll get it, but what if you I don't? I guess, did you see? Oh, my God, yeah, I guess. I don't, never mind. I, uh, mm -hmm. Never mind, just... I, guess. I don't know. I mean, when I was being bad on Daily Duels this week, and breaking up the plea saved my ass, so. Because I'm do, bad. What, do you run one Astro Force? No, I run three. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't do that. No, oh, I love ranking up in the Pleiades. Pleiades is like one of my favorite monsters in all of Yu Gi Oh! I guess it's still cool to return it to your hand, but. Yeah. I think that Dante being a target for Fire Lake that can in turn recycle Fire Lake is, is really good. I said, good. but if I didn't get Fire Lake, that's what I'm saying. Um, plus, like, the best play wow, in my opinion... that was a terrible opinion, mill. <laughs> well, the, the best play, in my opinion, is, is to recycle the... Oh, he got Fire Lake. Definitely, he got Fire Lake. It's the Fire or Lake. Or not to recycle the Fire Lake, but to, uh, to spam multiple Dantes turn one, because, you know, a couple 2-5 bodies that recycle, you know, they float for a, for a Burning Abyss from the Graveyard. That's not my opinion. I feel like I'm going to prediction as being a little with me by saying Dante and Fire Lake to, to, to one, but I'd say it'd be practical, you know. I, I'd say I don't I'm, think I'm, I'm, I don't think between, Fire Lake will get hit. You know, Fire Lake at three is way too hit. fucking consistent. Cause even with Dante at one, that's still fucking consistent. Aren't you the guy that just said, "What if you don't open Fire Lake?" Still, <laughs> that uh, that's no. just promoting not opening up with Fire Lake. Like you shouldn't be able to open up with the fucking Fire Lake loop every single time. Like, oh, tour guide into Fire Lake. Oh, here we go. For Which is probably no, exactly what this guy's gonna do right fucking now. I think that's a little bit too ridiculous. No? So, I'd, I, I, for predicting, I'd say hitting Fire Lake to one would be the correct choice, but I think the choice that Konami's gonna probably make is putting Dante to one. I, I hope that's what happens. I hope Dante gets banned. Um, Damn! But... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the salt is real, raining from the no, sky. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't play enough anymore to to be salty about it. I just think that the right the right thing is for Dante to get banned. I play OCG. I've been playing with Necrod, so I don't see very much burning abyss. I do see it occasionally, but. Uh, not very much, because you know the OCG thing is OCG and TCG on the end. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not salty. I just think that that's if we just ban Dante, it'll promote new. It's just like how the OCG uh, limited uh, construct window. Um, it'll promote the new ritual monster or whatever. Did it, okay? Wait, hold on a second. Did I dream this or does Good and Evil of the Burning Abyss shuffle monsters from the graveyard into the deck? What is the Burning Abyss? The Good and Evil, the ritual spell. I didn't see it. I don't think okay, it's... for some reason, I, I guess I'll look it up right now. For some reason, I feel like I read that its it its um its tribute cost can be replaced by shuffling Burning Abyss from your graveyard into the deck that equal you know the level of the Ritual Monster. But I'm not I'm not sure. Let me check that. Oh out. damn! It wasn't Fire Lake. I thought it was gonna be Fire Lake. <laughs> it was Breakthrough Skill. For some reason, I I remember reading that. I don't know. No, maybe, maybe I saw I, I saw Nala or whatever his name is. All right, no, no. Good and evil does not have an effect confirmed yet. Okay. okay. My fault. If that was true, my jaw would drop. Like, oh my god, because that's all Burning I, Abyss I, needed. I, that's why I want them to ban Dante, because I don't think the Ritual Monster is going to be played unless they unless they hit Dante. Like, I don't think the Ritual Monster is that good. I think I want he would be fine. I said, I think they're going to put it down to one just because of the text. You know, like they they you can tell that Konami fucked up on Dante with Virgil. That you can yeah, only control one Virgil. Yeah, people, you can tell people that. talk about that all the time. I don't know. <laughs> the other thing with Virgil is that it can be re it can be effectively um, recycled with with Seer, like special summon to the field because it can have an effect. So. Oh damn! You know what I mean? If you if you recycle Dante, you only get the float effect, but if, I guess and the two five defense. But if you recycle uh, Virgil with Seer, um, you can shuffle stuff back into the deck. And you get the float effect, and you have a two-five body. So, I like I like it. So that's something. A smart choice would be to hit Fire Lake, but the choice that probably go with is hitting Dante. Because all um, you need all you need is one Dante to go off with the Fire Lake loop. The the new Challenger Super Edition just came out though. I don't know if they hit because Fire, Fire Lake's a promo in that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying the correct choice. Wait, mm, did you not search what's Garm during the end phase? Who cares? He's, he doesn't know what he's doing. Darzino does not know what he's doing. <laughs> and fucking... I, 
Aragro is just kicking his ass. Like, god damn. Vanities? <laughs> oh, he's doing okay. Like, oh my god, my god. I said, fucking fish dolls are still really good. How many subscribers do you have now, Daniel? I'm almost at uh, 1,200. 1,200, that's crazy. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's awesome. No. You know, I, as soon as I was in the uh, the YouTube Awards, my subscribers been going up. I, think I'm, cool. I, I literally think I'm the only person who's in my category who's not trying to promote. <laughs> yeah. You probably uh, you probably won't win then. That kind of stinks. Why aren't you promoting? I don't care. Wait, what is? He didn't just synchro, did he? I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why? Because he won the Virgil. He, didn't he go tour guide into that Rubik? Break your skill. Oh, no, oh, yep, yep, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and they're, and they're totally cool with it. They're just gonna let it go. Oh my god. Um, he tour guided into that Rubik and um, made Virgil. Yeah, they're gonna let it go. No. Oh my <laughs> lord. Oh my. Oh and my he god. just. What? Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. No, it's in hell. <laughs> Message this man. Message this man right now. Which one? Which one? Fucking either one. It doesn't matter. Like I got you. I got you. Yeah, like, no, nice. wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. Every down. Everybody stop. Everybody's being bad. Need tour guide. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you meant like he couldn't do it because of window. Like, no, no, he break this girl. And I totally remember like, oh yeah. And this guy is just going off. Oh my god. Dude, by the time he reads it, this the fucking game is gonna be in such it's, an era yeah, terrible game, game state. state is messed up. Uh uh, it's, this game state's done. Like, oh my god. He mailed a dragon. Yeah, he's popping back row. It's way too late. It's late, dude. Like, Donzo, just admit Yeah, look, he's about to say it now. <laughs> Man, you use tour guide. <laughs> He's like, and? Like, I know, I break these guys. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Rubik can't be used as synchro material. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh. Let's see them backtrack this. I, I'm i say the game state's too irreparable at this point. Because you used Rubric, you Rubric Prince to summon the specials. I'm like, this, this state is... Like, if you can r r wind it all the way back, I'd be impressed. Because I'm, I'm lost at this point. Because Dante wouldn't be on the field. He has to return three cards to the graveyard. Um, to the top of the deck. The, yeah, the, the, from the, the graveyard to the top of the deck. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In the correct three order cards. that they were milled. Dragon he'll probably just shuffle. He'll probably just shuffle it. I don't think. I don't think he'll care that much. You know, like. Hmm. I guess you're gonna see him to Dante or something. Like. A... Oh, he was on Facebook, apparently. <laughs> Arag Road, or Arag Road D or whatever. He, he <laughs> said he just messaged me. I was on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, he's not even paying attention. <laughs> he's just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> sure, Dante. Yep. Um. So, I know you didn't watch it, but um, my 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 phone actually woke me up uh, <laughs> to uh, notify me that Twitch was streaming YCS Milan at five o'clock this morning, right? <laughs> but um, they had a feature match with Shadals versus uh, Six Sams, and the person who was playing Shadals was Joshua Schmidt, who won a YCS. Um, he won the he won a YCS with uh, I can't I think it was I think it was Madrid I think it was Madrid. What the fuck positive. round was this with six Sam's? It was round two. And, oh, okay, um, I'm about to say like this was at the, the end. Like, is, six Sam's got all the way up there. Like damn. The point is Joshua Sh Joshua Schmidt. Okay, here I'm looking at the deck profile on YouTube right now. He won YCS Madrid 2014 in September with Shadal Artifacts. And uh, he got 2 would by 6 Sam's on yeah. stream. 
on stream, Joshua Schmidt, winner of YCS Madrid. Got two of by six Sams. It was great. Wow. Yeah. Like, what the fuck um, did his opponent fucking do? She and Beast, like, just lock down his fusion? She and Beast, yeah. But uh, he got rid of the Beast with... I forget what he got rid of it with. Oh, um, um, Squamata. So I don't know what happened. He just... Games. He was just lower. He was just lower on resources. The six M player had more resources, which is you know, kind of surprising without Gateway, but it happened. And Joshua Schmidt, like I said, is a really big name over in Europe. You know, uh, they made a really big deal because you know the only reason that that was the feature match was because Joshua Schmidt was dueling, and then he ended up losing to six Sams. Um, That's yeah, funny. So I've, been watch, I've been watching that. There was they showed a baby raccoon player versus. Um, Cleef, uh, Cleepert or whatever, and uh, the Cleepert, the Cleepert deck won 2-0, but it was still cool to watch. Hell yeah. Um, it probably just stomped or... all over his ass. Yeah, it wasn't close, but it was it was still cool to see some Rogue, uh, just like it was to see 6 Sam do 6 Sam things. Um, freaking um, Grandmaster was summoned. Wow. You know, so that's a really old card. Uh, then they had, I think, a Shadal Mirror. And then they had Burning Abyss versus uh, Nurse Burn. And the Nurse Burn player actually decked out the should all, uh, the Burning Abyss player in game one. Wow, what the fuck? How the hell fuck did that happen? <laughs> he, did they go to the time? I don't know, the Burning Abyss player was deck thinning and then the guy just stalled. Huh? Oh. They did. They, they went to time game three and uh, the Burning Abyss player did end up winning in time. There was a, remember I told you I I just sent you that message. There was a really huge chain to end the duel. So oh, okay. Did he fire like the shit out of his back row? <laughs> yeah, he fire leaked his back row, but um, it wasn't the turn the back row was set or anything. So he did just chain it. But I don't oh. know. There was there was some confusion, uh, because even the commentators thought the thought the thought the life equalizer the, the you know the nurse burn player they thought he won, but uh, it showed up on the screen that. The Burning Abyss player won, so they had to figure out how that worked, and I still don't understand how it worked. I thought the Life Equalizer player won, but they they put on the screen that the Burning Abyss player won. All right, wow. Uh, wow. I and mean, we just said that Burning Abyss said You know what? Darn, Darzino, you need to go practice Burning Abyss. <laughs> I mean, forgetting Skarms is one thing, but he summoned Tour Guide and then used, he made a Synchro Monster. Like, ugh, that just, you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. But I, can, I right? can talk. Like, look at his rating, look at my rating. I can't talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. We'll go ahead and call up, so. So, uh, do you have anything else to say? Um, I don't know. I've, I, you guys subscribed to me. I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm sorry. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Zero out of ten. Would not bang. Say would not what? Bang. <laughs> would not bang. You never uploaded any video. Zero out of ten would not bang. <laughs> All right. I'll make one today. <laughs> right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of DMs of Commentary. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.